Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Factory Simo with Stijo. How's it going, Stijo? Hey, it's going pretty well. I'm just laying down some Johnny 5 firepower. Cool. I am uh, trying to upgrade these factory building layouts. You'll notice that I've got two recursive designs now. Actually, I want to rename the other one too. Recursive Green Circuit Factory needs to be renamed to indicate that it is with beacons. So it's recursive beacon. Beekib, beak be gun, green circuit. I like how the name length. There's no restriction on name length, which is handy. Gotta go pretty damn deep in here to clean this thing out. All right, deconstruct this layer now too. Okay, go Johnny Fives. Oh, that reminds me. I should really take the time to to go get some green, uh, some of the, some of the robot, the alien goo, the goodies, cotton candy, and uh, set up some tier three module production because I'm I'm doing all this with tier two modules, which is kind of silly. Yeah. And again, tier three modules are really freaking expensive, and we're not going to have enough to support very many factory buildings for quite a while. Oh no! You killed the squad. I just picked them up. Oh, good. You murderous bastard! <laughs> wow. Yeah, the, there was a load of little guys that decided to go into three different squads. It's like there's 31 of them, and it's like, yeah, let's make our own fucking squad with blackjack and hookers. Silly robots. There we go, I sent, I sent out a load of Johnny Fives, you can see at the north. Actually, I can't because I'm inside a factory building. I've got no minimap. No. Well, you can't see it in the north. I know, that's what I just said. That's what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> I love robots, man. They're so cool. Yeah, they're pretty damn sweet. Right, okay. now hopefully this place won't get attacked again. Uh, right. Okay. I am now... Timmy to call two. So, let's see if I can figure out power usage in this thing. Well, none of it's running right now, so that's kind of hard to determine. Um, I need to do a test to see how many layers deep on this thing we can go before we run out of power. Which reminds me, we were, we were considering maybe upgrading to, uh... Like, doing a little tweak to the factory Factorissimo mod. Remember? Yes. So that we can have uh, a lot more power on it. Alright, I'm gonna steal these iron lines right now. Just box them up. Get everything running. See what the performance is. I like how we've got a storage warehouse with my three storage storehouses in it. <laughs> <laughs> Where we heard you like warehouses, so we put warehouses inside your warehouses, right? <laughs> uh, how many stacking swords does it take to clean a blue line? A lot. Seems to be. Wow. Okay. Jesus Christ. I just came to the, the coal mine, mm -hmm. and it's pretty desolate in, down here. I don't know, I kind of I kinda feel like leaving all the belts so that it's like, it looks desolate. Oh, you like you like the desolate look, huh? Yeah. I was like, there was stuff here, but we destroyed it. <laughs> and it's not like we need fucking yellow belts. Yeah. Well, you could upgrade them. Well, I suppose. Okay. Considering we're using blue belts for most things now. Alright, so, I don't think there's any issue here. I think a fully... fully producing factory is going to consume... 
enough here. Yeah, we're green pretty much across the board, and I think the only reason why we're not in some places is because there's still a little bit of a backlog that's burning through, so yes. The boats can handle this production, and... Power usage from one layer is... 30.5 megawatts. I can't even go two layers deep, Stejo. What the, the hell? The whole point to this recursive thing is there, there's no point. So you need to have an upgraded... Yeah. That's annoying. I mean, the production from this thing is nowhere near a full blue belt, so... Well then. It's 30.5 megawatts, jeez. It's, uh, it's not great, is it? Uh, no, um, I think it's just a little little config change that we can do though to, to make it possible. Alright, I'm still yeah. gonna plant down a few more of these things. As in, go deeper? Yeah, I'm gonna go deeper even though it can't work. Yet. Yet, exactly. Also, the power usage is going to be even higher because we're going to have speed 3s and productivity 3s, which would raise the power usage even higher. Yeah. So we, we literally can't go any deeper than just one layer at the moment. Well, I'm sitting on like 20 FPS right now. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm not just sure. charging around with my, uh, my little train. If I go on my map, it's fine. That's probably the Johnny 5s are probably causing a bit of it. Oh, that's interesting. If you try to use the... Uh Resource, you had another resource monitor fork um, to like look at a resource deposit while you're inside a factory building. It just takes you to a black screen. <laughs> it takes you to the place, but the wrong layer. Yeah. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I thought so. Okay, I need a ground belt. Take me to Copper 3. It's annoying that you don't see the train station names when you're looking at a train. So you know the map inside the train? We're just figuring out things to complain about? Is that what? No, <laughs> like if you're... If you're looking at the map in the train, it doesn't give you the train station names. So if you're looking at where the train is on the, the little map on the preview thing, mm -hmm. it's a bit fucking useless because you don't see the train station names. Yeah, we're we're definitely at the capacity here. It's it's not working. We're at uh, 50 megawatts nearly on the dot, and that's it. I'm it fucking can't, can't go deeper. But we must go deeper. Right, let's see. To make four blue belts worth of items, one blue belt can carry four, 40 items per second. So if we want 40, we need 160 items per second. Is that got to be the final out production output of this, this assembly area? 160 items per second. Calculating all of this with productivity modules and everything is going to be a nightmare. I think I'm just not going to. I'm just going to make it deeper and deeper and deeper until we have enough. So for now, we'll start with two. And then I'll, uh... I'm going to go work on trying to get... Higher level productivity stuff. Right. Also, none of this stuff is actually, uh... This, this entire blue belt is not moving. This is all just feeding directly into gears. We're not using that many gears, so... Yes, it's a... What you might call it, a recursive gear factory, but there's like no point. It doesn't. Yeah, so you need to do your pull off with your overflow. Well, fine. Your priority split. I like bottleneck. Bottleneck is a good mod. Yep. I'm using it right now to tell what miners need uh, some faster belt on them. So that they can actually function, like so that the full mine can function. Because when I made this mine, I, I had yellow belt and that was just pretty much it. 
The, my, yeah, well, sorry. Go ahead, say that again. I'll try to parse what you're saying. So I'm using it to see what miners can't output because there's no, because it needs a faster belt to output onto. Okay. Because we've got too many miners for yellow belt. Because oh, I had yeah, yellow belt yeah. when I made this. Bottleneck's great for that. Um, yeah. It's real good. The one complaint I have about Foreman, Chumiko, if you hear this, is that there's another Blueprint Manager mod called, like, K-Print or K-Blueprint or something like that, and it has one feature that this one misses, which is the rotation of blueprints. Not being able to, like, pivot them 90 degrees, but to flip them horizontally, horizontally and vertically. That other mod had that. I tried it for a little bit because I was... because Foreman wasn't working, and I like that feature. I feel like you're telling your wife that you cheated on her. Yeah, basically. I mean, of course. I'm sitting upgrading all of this by hand, like a, a bell end, for no reason other than I'm too lazy to change, like to add it into upgrade planner, but I'm not lazy enough to not change it. That's, I'm, I'm definitely a strange one. There we go, we've now got extra production at... Oh yeah! I was supposed to be coming back up here. <laughs> this happens to us far too often, doesn't it? <laughs> I was doing a thing, then I stopped doing the thing. And then I forgot to redo the thing. Oh my god. I think it's in decorative, yeah. Landfill is not decorative. That is nonsense, sir. You're nonsense, sir. Good, Jin. Yeah, try. Oh! A stone. Oh, what's wrong with a stone mine? I don't think we have one. As, as we've got one, just not doing much. Oh, one of our squads died. No. <clears throat> not really too bothered about that, to be honest. Did you? I made a thing. Nice. I call it the four-lane priority busser. Four, four busser. Why? 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 Because it takes Why? in. Because it's not a cascade. It takes the entire four belt array, and makes one of the four belt arrays higher priority than the other. It's fun. silly. You're being silly. I just crashed. Or I'll crash the game, or no, crash someone. Oh, yeah. That's great. Very, 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 very smart of it. What's your thing? Right here. What the fuck is this? It prioritizes an entire four belt array instead of one. What? Look at it. You'll figure it out. No. Yes. I'm not. No, I'm putting it in here. <laughs> uh, prioritizes that, then prior. But. Oh, it pulls off all four lanes. Yeah. And then... So, I've got... Basically, I'm gonna say... Okay, so the priority lane set up right now is, uh... I so it's just it. an overflow for four lanes. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see. Right now, it's testing... You're the, uh... Enable Disable. So the right... The, the top one here is the priority lane. So you're gonna go into the... Into the gears. And if the gears don't need it, now we got four whole belts of uh, iron that we can send somewhere else. That's cool. So that's instead of using just one single lane to... Yeah, instead of instead of doing the uh, cascade type thing, it's just going to just move the entire thing elsewhere. And since all the lanes are being consumed equally, it, it just kind of, I don't know, seems, seems good. Yeah, well, that's fine. Well, you don't make you know, sound like you think it's fine. No, that's, that's good. That's good. I like it. 
It's very situational. Yeah. Well, in this case, I mean, I could use all this iron. This, this entire this is factory the building. That you need to use it. So, yeah, yeah. This factory building is doing nothing right now, and I could use three of these belts of iron. So. No, I'm totally with you for it. Yeah, your uh, your thingy isn't isn't great. <laughs> your little circuit factory. What the recursive one up there? Yeah. Because it doesn't have any. It's only got two of the copper lines of input, and it needs three more. Oh. I don't know why I ended up working on iron. I was supposed to be making level three circ uh, level three modules, but I got distracted. Because <laughs> I saw I like this. Your thing, these, your thing is cool. The gear thing wasn't doing anything. I was like, well, I should use these four belts of iron. We got four whole belts of iron here doing nothing. Just getting wasted, yeah. No, your thing is cool. Is this like a is this a recursive iron factory? No, that one is not the recursive one. The recursive one. Are you sure? It looks. Well, it looks like it. Oh, it def definitely looks like it. It looks like it's recursing. Oh, was that the? One? Maybe that is the one I was working on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is. This is the one that's using fifty megawatts of power. Nice. When it when it's performing and it's got beacons, but it needs level three beacons still. Yeah. Hey, where am I sending this iron, Stijo? Um. Basically, it just needs to split in on all these lanes. One by one. Yeah. Just, yeah, just find an empty lane, I suppose. The issue right now is we've got so much iron coming in that we need a bigger bus. Yep. Good problem to have, I guess. Yeah. Alright. That one can filter in now as well. So we definitely are gonna have the four full belts coming down the bus. But it, yeah, we just we should probably just have another bunch of belts of blue. We have very blue little iron belts, yeah. Very little coal coming in right now, do we? Um okay, I was gonna do what am I doing? Productivity threes? Or should I do Ooh, there's the bits. Oh the bits are available. But they're a requester chest. Yes, because they go straight into an army loot chest and then pulled into the requester chest. I think this needs to be made better. Just just make the requester chest Passive provider. 100. No, make the requester chest 100 and then um, don't have the army loot chest there. No, we need the army loot chest there. Why? Because if the robots kill more stuff, we need them. Put it back. Yeah, of course, but have it somewhere else and put it into a provider. That's what I was going to do. Right here, there's space. Put it back. Give me it. Mine. Oh, you know it. Oh, do you want it? Where, where do you want it? Right where that other inserter is. Well, here? Well, I was going to, but now it doesn't fit. You broke it. <laughs> this isn't Bob's mod. You can't just do like a little quirky fucking one tile thing. Well, not with that attitude, you can't. Very true. I'm gonna find a way to make this damn thing fit. I'm gonna. Okay. Okay. Yeah, why is there like no coal coming? Oh. Because there's like no coal. No? Oh, it's pretty. Oh, okay, that's, that's kinda silly. Yeah, there's just no coal. Uh, it's because we're stockpiling like all the coal down here. Is it a so, storage warehouse, though? No, this was the the weird thing that you done. Oh, thanks. It always make you feel good when you say things like that. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Can you not remember it? It's very strange. Yay! It's constantly just giblets that we're waiting on. Which is really annoying. Yeah, this is the, this is the phase of the game where people would normally just like if you're playing a, a game without biters, you just console command in five thousand giblets, and call it good, or play with the uh, the mod that I was mentioning before, the uh, alternative alien science pack research, where you can like make some fancy bits and combine junk. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we right. actually have quite a bit of giblets right now. So how? Why? We're not waiting on giblets at the moment. Yeah, but that's why our science was stalled. It's now working. Can I just? I feel like upgrading these to yellows. Oh, I currently have 50 yellows in my pocket, so mm -hmm. probably best off not to upload, upgrade them. There you go. Oh, what the hell? Why is there steel on the fucking end of this belt? What the? There we go. Get that science going, baby. Okay, so the giblets get teleported to the army loot chest, and then they all get put into a passive provider, and then they get sent into the the thing. So now we can send giblets either down the bus or we can use robots. And the robots are actually uh, all being lazy. Most of them are taking a vacation right now. There's only like 20 logistics robots working. Oh. 2,500 construction robots sitting around. Is there a reason for that? Uh, what happened here? We shut down red science production. Red, red circuit production here. You took apart a thing. I did? Yeah, you did. You done screwed it up, Steve Joe? Where? Right here, I'm rebuilding it. So we have red science. A red red circuit production. Oh. I didn't put the, the thing back together. No, you just muck, you mucked it up. Oh, my bad. Just start Are with you? a singular basic little one, that's all I need. Just to get it working. <laughs> there, I'm leaving <laughs> Such now. Such a lazy shit. <laughs> it's your your problem now, fix it. God, everyone will be like, why are they, why are they going a bit long? I remember knows why. This is supposed to be green circuits. No, I don't. Is it the last episode? Don't say it. Yeah. No, it's not. It is. It's not allowed to be. Well, unless I've got a video there that's not... Nope, it's definitely the last episode. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yep. No. You can't know it's mathematics. No. Well, I guess. I can know and we just do more. <laughs> you like this campaign, don't you? Well, yeah, we're making stuff happen. We still don't even have tier three modules, you know? I mean, it's just vanilla, but it's, uh, it's a thing. Your, uh, your green circuit line leaves an awful lot to be desired, sir. So. Well, go work on it! Fix it! <laughs> it's your recursive thing. Jesus. Well, I just gotta get some more copper being smelted up there. That's the only issue. Like, how, how are we doing on storage right now? We've got 400,000 copper, so we just need to create a recursive smelting line. We need to remember to upgrade the factory CMO thing to have more more throughput on power. I don't I don't see why there's a limit in the first place. The whole point is it's factory CMO. It's fact, like inception, right? Why is there a transference cap? I don't know. That makes Do you sense think to me. he was expecting it? Like, the inception thing? The very fact that he allowed factory buildings within factory buildings to me makes it seem like, yeah. Why Why would you let factory buildings be built inside factory buildings in the first place if you don't expect people to do that? Maybe he just forgot. Maybe he thought 50 megawatts was a lot of power. I don't know. Maybe. It's not. It's, this is factorio. We're not actually making that much. We're only making 200 odd. 200 what? Megawatts. Yeah, we need more solar. Need more solar. I'm gonna go just check the screen circuit factory real quick, see why oh, are this, you... <laughs> that solar grid is, is actually a lot of solar. Never getting enough cable. I think the issue, part of the issue is that uh, the ratio is just not right. Oh, you've already placed more solar, there's just no solar panels. Yeah, because somehow the green circuit got dis disconnected. From the solar assembly area. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, without productivity threes, the ratio for one one assembly machine to one assembly machine on green circuits is not right. You need productivity threes. These guys aren't even producing at full capacity. For what? For one... If you have productivity threes, you can go one assembly machine making coil, one assembly machine making green circuits. Oh. That's pretty cool. I don't use modules too often.
This place looks great. But no. Yes. Don't 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 say it. <laughs> Is that time? Okay, it's supposed to be iron. Let me just at least hook it up. Iron on the top, copper on the second from the top. I don't have the full belts of throughput yet, but at least I can get the damn thing hooked up. And now we'll we'll consume all of it, and we'll probably end up seeing these belts end up dry, because. In theory, it, it... well, I don't know how deep you have to go. I was gonna say, like, it's have to go all the way, but you're not... I don't know. This one's only at 25 megawatts, so we could go a layer deeper right now. Yeah, see? It's backed up. Yeah. I think, I think you'd have to go three, four, five layers deep to actually get the green circuit production up to full. Look at that! Almost the, getting a full belt. Look at that! That cascade's doing a good job. Yeah, that's that's one layer, and it's almost a blue belt. So it's probably five or six layers deep that you have to go. Uh, it was the recursive green circuit factory. God, if you're not careful, you'll just fly through all of the fucking factories. Yeah. Exactly. When you when you uh, when the entrance is right at the very very beginning, you barely step inside the door and you're already into the next level. Oh, <laughs> whatever factory you just put down had some uh, uh, well, had some ore, had some iron ore sitting in it. Yeah, I think I I don't know if I, there should be like a clear factory building button or something that just deletes all entities in it. Yeah, it can get a little bit finicky with little bits being left here and there. All right, see, Joe. As soon as this factory building is done being built and has its modules, we can go. That's that's done. Uh oh. <laughs> it's, it, it's got its modules. It's got its things. All the belts are good. Every factory's running, but not not at full capacity because again, the the red the coil needs the productivity threes to be able to keep up with the green circuit factory. Oh, and it's just setting at twos right now. Yeah, so the ratio is off. It's not. It's like making like 2.5 coil per second, and the machine needs three. So, oh crap! There's robots sitting around because you left. You derp. Oh, I had robots. Well, I think they were trying to sleep in your inventory or something because they're oh, being shit. dummies. Yeah, those were all yours. I still have 50 in my inventory. So, just grab that robot port once they land. Yeah. Yay! All right, let's go inspect. Is it two full belt, two two blue belts now? In a moment, once it there's one in it's up to speed. Bit. See, that's the one oh, thing oh, about yeah. this that I don't like is that it, the way I picture it, the way it should work through this cascade is that it should just be four belts coming in and the bottom two are full, and yet it doesn't work that way. You end no. up with. It's because it's always trying to push onto the bottom. Like it's it's normally this the belt that you see right now that's empty that will be empty. Like after the first one, and then that'll push it lower. Yeah, because we can only push down one belt at a time. We need to remember that. Yep. So over here now we are down to the nearly two belts. Looks like yeah. one and a half, one one and three quarters maybe. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I'd say one and three quarters. Uh, mm, it's probably a lot less than that, though. I'd I'm, say one and a half. I'm, I'm definitely thinking we're going to need five to six layers of green circuits here. So we're going to yeah. need 150 watt megawatts minimum just to power this one building. That's that's pretty cool, though. I just like how it's just spewing circuits out just so fucking quickly. Because yeah, regardless, that's a lot of fucking circuits. Mm-hmm. That is really cool. The recursive element is definitely the thing that we missed at the very beginning. We geeked out like crazy about Factorissimo, but we didn't really realize the opportunity for a while there for the recursive plan. Yeah. Which is, which is just brilliant. That's exactly what you should do with this mod, I think. Yeah. All right, okay, fine. I guess we can stop playing this game. Damn it. <laughs> Only 10 minutes over time. Yeah. We need more batteries. Looks like we have an oil shortage. Let's go fix it. No, I think we do have an oil shortage. Actually, it's probably. Then why are there no batteries? There's like none batteries, Tijo. 
This is the battery line right here. And it's, there's, like, nothing. Uh, wow, I'm only getting 45 FPS. Uh, that's not batteries. Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, there's no fucking batteries, because batteries are just being bled off of science. We never did a proper battery setup? Are you serious? No, it's just being bled off of science. Well, no wonder we've never had any... ...stuff. This is, uh... Probably why the science has been derpy as well. Ooh, processing units I have no green circuits because I think that we got rid of the thing that feeds in green circuits to the to the network. Yeah. Anyway, we can do a battery setup and the rest of the junk another day. All right, fine. All right, see you in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon. Bye bye.